What up Ninja Clan and welcome back to our YouTube channel. I am as always your host the Atomic Ninja G and you may be able to hear that my voice is still not doing so good. I'm feeling much better. If you've been following us on our socials you'll know that I've been ill for a couple of days. My voice has not been great but I've got cough sweets. I've got juice next to me and today is a very special day. Today is Locana into the Inklands release day and I was so excited that I couldn't not make a video. So what have we got all together? Well all together I've got both starter decks. We've got a booster box. We've got a trove and we've got a gift set because I was very excited. I'm very excited for this and I'll tell you for why when we get this. So those are all the things that I have. Today, if you saw the thumbnail, you'll know that we'll be opening one of the starter decks, which is this one. This is the Ruby Sapphire. Oops, it's off camera. The Ruby Sapphire starter deck with Moana and Scrooge McDuck. So we're going to open this up and see what's inside. So the first thing that I've noticed is they've actually changed the internal packaging of the whole thing. So this, I happen to have a old Floodborne uh, box lying around. So this is how it used to look, right? Your deck would kind of be squished in there. This would be in the box. There's a pack of cards, a uh, booster pack in the back there. And you'd have all this stuff, your tokens and all that jazz uh, in the back. Um, apparently now they've gone for what seems to be a bit of a smaller design. Uh, and it's all tucked in this kind of little sleeve here. You still have all your tokens, and then uh, you have more tokens here and your low tracker there, under there. Um, it makes no real difference, I don't think, but it's a small change. I thought it was cool, so I thought we'd talk about it. All right, so here's the deck, uh, still in this lovely waxy paper. I do enjoy opening those. We've seen the tokens and all that jazz. If we push this out, we get our very first pack of Into the Inklands uh, booster packs, which is very, very exciting. We'll pop that there and open that in a second. We've got our new quick start rules, um, which will take you through what's happening and how to play the game. It's very nice. I do like it. It's a proper little booklet this time. Look at that. Here's me off the camera all the time. <laughs> uh, I wonder, does it talk about... Let me see if it talks about locations. Uh, playing the game, setting up, playing a card, damage, moving, does it talk about, aha, parts of a location card, there we go, so it does talk about location cards, which is fantastic, okay, you can peruse through that at your own leisure, and we get ourselves a new playmat, I do love the fact that they do them double-sided, for right-handed players and left-handed players, and the fact they change the design every single time. So this is the Inklands version. Uh, since we happen to have one here, let's check out the Floodborne version. Um, so there we go. Floodborne versus Inklands. And heck, you could even just put them together like that. Um, for funsies. <laughs> We don't really care about those. That's fine. But it's very cool. Like, if you're picking up a starter deck and you've never played Locana before and you're in your local game store or wherever you're at and you want to just pick up and play, that is a fantastic way uh, to start with your tracker counters and uh, your playmat and all that jazz. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. You didn't come to see that stuff. You came to see these. Right. Let's open these up. I do love the noise this makes. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okie dokie. Let's take a look then. Our first rare foil card is Moana. Obviously, on the front of the box there, she is our uh, ruby. And we get our sapphire. Oh, is she a super rare? He is a super rare. That's cool. Super rare Scrooge McDuck. We'll pop him there. So we're going to go with Ruby first. We got Della Duck. We have one, two, three copies of Della Duck. Hey, hey. We got three copies of Hey, hey. We got one, two, three copies of the Kakamora. Oh, it's Maui as a soaring demigod, eagle form. 
we go. We got three copies of that. Oh, now this is a set one, I believe. Uh, chapter one, Mini Mouse. We have, oh, hang on a second, three copies of Moana as a common. Is this not the same Moana? I've not actually seen any of these cards, so. Oh, no, it's not the same Moana. Does she shift? She does. She shifts for three. She's a five cost, but we'll shift for three. Um, oh, and we have this Moana, who is evasive and a four cost. Um, so if you watch any of our Locada battles, <laughs> you know that's going in my deck uh, right away. Oh, look at this. 2-1-1, quest for three. Hello. Uninkable, but still, Simba, and he's rare. So we got one copy of Simba. Uh, we have three copies of uh, Webby Van der Quack <laughs> from DuckTales. Oh, another Chapter 1 card. We have Dragonfire. It's very cool. Let's have a look. We've got two copies of Voyage. We have one Sumerian Talisman. I don't know what this is from. Someone tell me what, the, what uh, Disney movie this is from. What does it do? Source of Magic. During your turn... Whenever one of your characters is banished in a challenge, you may draw a card. Oh, that's pretty cool. And it's an item, so it stays on the board. You haven't got to exert it or anything. It just does it automatically. I like it. What's the quote on the bottom? Lena Sab Saberwing. Lena Saberwing. Summon the spirit of the dark. Show thyself before this arc. Okay, I don't know what she's from. <laughs> oh. That's so odd. We've got two of those. Okay. And then we have uh, Maui's fish hook. One copy of that. And here we go. Location cards. So location cards, if you don't know, are new to set three. We will have a video very shortly explaining what they do and how they work. But for now, we'll take a look at these. We get three copies of Agrabah. Um, so it's one to move there. Cost of three. Quest of two. Willpower of five basically tells you what to do um they are a bit nuanced than that but um that's the basics of the makeup of the card but that's very cool our very first locations guys looking forward to trying them out okay let's move scrooge mcduck down let's move them all down a bit so you can see them a little bit better i think my camera's a bit wonky i'm not sure if i'm holding them straight <laughs> so here we go another chapter is this not chapter one this is uh floodborne cogsworth right so we've got two copies of floodborne cogsworth We've got two copies of Dewey, if I can keep them in shot. <laughs> We've got two copies of Duke Weselton. I think he's a chapter one card, right? Let's have a look. It, oh, no, he's a floodborn. So if you ever want to know, just out of FYI, right, oh, so right at the bottom here, you've got this number. So you've got uh, the number of the card, which is 146 out of 204. Uh, EN, which is the language, is English. And number two, that tells you what set it's from. So let's take Scrooge, for example. That should say three. There you go. So he is an Inklands, and this guy is a Floodborn. There you go. All right. Flint Heart Go Glom Gold. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. So how many Flint Hearts do we have? You have two Flint Hearts. And here we go. Most definitely a Chapter 1. Look at that. There's a 1 down there. Chapter 1 common card. Flounder. The MVP of every single game he's in. We got three copies of him. We get two cop, three copies of Grandma Tala. Uh, one copy of Gyro Gialus, and he's a ray. So we're only getting one copy of him. What does he do? Uh, tap him. Put an item card from your discard to the top of your deck. Oh, okay. Nobody tell Daddy Louie about this this card. I don't need him to know about that. <laughs> We've got a Huey, who is a Ray, and we've got one, two, three copies of Louis. Speaking of Louis, there he is. Ooh, two copies of Maid Marion. Very interested in making myself a Robin Hood deck, so. Uh, we've got a Scrooge McDuck. Sorry, I'm being really rubbish and not paying attention to where they are on the camera. <laughs> uh, so we've got, we've got two Scrooge McDucks, just out of interest. Does this one shift as well? It does not. Oh, but I saw, hang on. Uh, I'm going home. During your turn, this character gains evasive. <laughs> yep, he's in. Uh, we have got one, two vault doors. What do vault doors do? Sealed away. Your locations and characters at locations gain resist plus one 
Oh, hot diggity dog. All right, we like that. It's a four cost. And then we get two copies of our second location, Martin Nui. There we go. Fun, fun, fun. Looking forward to using locations and seeing how they work. But before my voice gives out, because it's coming close, <laughs> uh, we're going to open our very, very, very first pack of Into the Inklands. Now, you will all know by this point that there are no puzzle pieces, which makes me very, 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 very sad. Um, one of the best parts about these packs, in my opinion, is the little puzzle piece. Um, and I'm very sad that we don't get those. But what we get instead um, are two cards now in uh, basically explaining the locations and how they work and all that kind of stuff, which you also get in the, uh, the quick start rules with the starter deck. So starter deck wise, they're a bit pointless, um, but you get them in every single pack. And I get that it's kind of to help those people Maybe you're just picking up loose packs. Okay. Are we ready? First pack. Here we go. Bearing in mind, I have not looked at many of the cards at all. I've seen a couple of reveals and stuff online. Let's have a look. So I'm assuming we're going to keep the same uh, structure. So it should be uh, one common of each color, then three uncommons, then two random rarity, and then the last card will be a random rarity and will be a foil card. So here we go. We've got Kit, La, Kit Cloud Kicker from Tailspin. That's a lot harder to say. Oh, Kida. Nice. We've got Della Duck. Oh, a location. So here we go. Our first booster pack location. It's a common. Uh, so it's Deville Mana. Uh, let's pop that up there. I might keep that one separate. Oh, Pua. There we go. Oops. Uh, boss's orders. Oh, look at that. So we've got four locations out. I'm not sure how many locations come in a per ink. Is it like two green, two blue, and all that jazz? I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, here's Kuzgo's Palace. So that's cool. That's our fourth location. Oh, it's a Titan. It's an uncommon. It's Hydra. I'm looking forward, very much looking forward to making a Titan deck. I'm not going to lie. These are our first uncommon. We've got 99 puppies. Not to be confused with all oh my days. We've got a rare location. And okay, so there's three. <laughs> I've answered my own question in my first booster pack. There are three locations per ink. So we've got Deville Manor, Kuzco's Palace, and Fang. So this is our first rare uh, card, our first random rarity. And rumor is that if that the next card can't be worse than the card you just pulled. So the next card has to be better than Ray, or Ray or better, which isn't hard, right? But still. All right, let's have a look. It's a super Ray. Ooh, Pongo. Nice, we like Pongo. Any of you ever watch uh, when I play Evasive, you know I like Pongo. So what does he do? So he is a three cost, uh, three strength, two willpower, quest for one, Twilight Bark, once per turn. You may pay two strength, not two ink. Oh, what am I talking about? <laughs> I know how to play this game, I promise. <laughs> uh, so you pay two ink to reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a character card, put it into your hand. Otherwise, put it on the bottom of your deck. There we are. Okay. And here we go. Our first booster pack. The last card is a common grammar Tala. Is it? foil oh it is yeah it is kind of foil i don't think it's as foily as the other ones like where the clouds are um it's very foily it's kind of shiny <laughs> it's hard to describe i don't know if they're foiling them different maybe maybe it's just this one card who knows um but it's definitely very cool i do like this one so happy days well guys if you enjoyed this then stick around because we have uh, some more things coming as you know uh, subscribe turn on your notifications like this video if you did so um, yeah turn on those notifications then you'll never miss a video that's coming out which is going to include like a lot more stuff right like all this stuff here like all this stuff that's so much I can't even get it all under the camera look at that it's incredible <laughs> 
All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go before my voice does, and I will catch you guys in the next one. But until then, I have been the Atomic Ninja G. You guys have been awesome. And this has been a Disney Volcana into the England starter deck unboxing.